everybody. Welcome to Miss Rocky and Shaviva Live because there's always something good happening on the North End. And today we have the really, really great people here to show off. We got Sharita Stokes here. Thank you so much for joining us, Sharita. All right, and the ever popular Quentin Richardson, Big Q. Thank you, Big Q, for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so um, this is kind of a strange uh, incident that Shaviva is not joining us today, but I know that we got plenty of things that we can cover. She has a lot of explaining to do, but uh, everybody needs a day off from time to time, so we got to go ahead and and give her a break and send her our love. And you know, also today is the day that Mayor Hart joins us normally. But if anybody saw his, did you guys see his Facebook post? Yeah, I did. Yeah, he's asking for, you know, thoughts and prayers because he's having prayers. some time. Right, we love our mayor. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we so he's asking for prayers. He's having some type of procedure, uh, procedure. So please, everyone, wish him well. Also, I saw today that my dear friend Joyce Wilder um, laid her mother to rest. And uh, so, you know, there are always people grieving, uh, you know, in the community. Sometimes we just like to let them know that we wrap our arms around you and certainly uh, keeping you in prayer, Joyce, and your entire family. So know that all right now on a happier note it's friday hey what y'all got going on what what's up what's up sharita what y'all doing what you doing this weekend you got any plans i don't have any plans this weekend just enjoying my day off we had conferences this week for school so shout out to all the parents who showed up for conferences or called or virtual we as teachers appreciate all of you for participating that's right. That's right. And I didn't even inter give you a proper introduction. <laughs> um, you are a third grade teacher at Cunningham. And yes. um, thank you, first of all, for all you do. We don't we we don't get to say thank you enough. So thank you. Yes. And Big Q, what do you got going on for the weekend? You said it's been a long week. Yeah, it's been a long week. I'm hanging with Sharita. Sharita, you coming through later or what? You gonna come to the store? Oh, yeah. you, you ain't messing with us. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm not messing with you. I'm gonna come down for five minutes. That's it. Five minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. Don't make me call you, but and it's only gonna be five minutes. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna hold you to that. Um, this weekend I'm working. Um, I work here. I do about forty hours here at my job, and then I work Friday and Saturdays at the store. So as soon as I get off at 4.30, straight to the store to about 9 or 10, then tomorrow 12 to 9, and Sunday will be my rest day. So nothing major, just, just hanging out at the store. Well, good. It sounds like you've got your days filled quite up well now with your new job. How is that going, Q? Can you tell us a little bit about, it's, are you loving it? I do love it. I do love it. I work with students all day. I've been working with students all day today. I do advising. Um, I supervise a, a, a lab. I supervise 33 uh, student employees that, that's up underneath me. Um, so basically, I supervise a biochem lab as well as a peer learning lab, which houses our uh, writing and math lab. And I have 33 wonderful employees that work for me. So I have to do my, my, my role with them is training, uh, payroll, um, hiring, um, just different things like that, just overall supervisory position. And then that's half of my job description. The other half is working with multicultural students, advising, and just trying to help them uh, have a comfortable environment here at Warburg and, and, and make sure their voice is heard and they get all the things that they need to be successful students. So we play, I, I play a lot of roles. It's a lot of roles wow. here and I'm learning that as I go. It's plenty of, it's plenty of jobs. Each person has many hats here, I'll just say that. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I guess so. And you know what, you're the right person for the job. You're so personable, very approachable because you know, a lot of guys that have your stature and presence, 
can be hard to approach, but the first time I met you, it was just like, you're just so easy to talk to. And I feel like everybody, um, like Sharita said, that's my brother. I feel like everybody feels like your brother. Now y'all not biological, are you? Might I mean, as we well are... be, might as well be. <laughs> Okay. We got, we got over. We we, we, we got about twenty like twenty five years in. We about about twenty twenty five years. Yeah, we we can say that. Yeah, we go way way okay. way. Okay. All way. right. Well, listen. All right. I hear you. So listen, our viewers know every Friday this month that Big Q is giving love advice, Sharita. So you know that, right? He's gonna tell <laughs> us about his opinion. <laughs> his opinion on these love questions because February is love month. It's also a uh, heart month. In fact, we have a doctor on the show next week. Um, oh. So we're talking about issues of the heart love, if you will. So I guess our question is today, and you already said you all the stuff you're doing this weekend. I didn't hear nothing about no love situation, but <laughs> Valentine's day is over. So what is, the method to carry on after Valentine, all the romance is gone from last weekend. Now here we go into a new weekend. How are you got how should a person express and keep that love alive after Valentine's Day? Keep the same energy <laughs> after after all they had to do what waiting at Tokyo's for two hours to get a meal and all that. Do you want them to keep the same energy after all that? <laughs> Boy, you got some tough <laughs> questions. You've been coming at me hard with these questions. That's a good okay. One. But, but can I make one suggestion since since Precious is gone could say, and she's on here laughing, could you make sure that the second question you have, you ask her and since Precious isn't, isn't here because she thinks it's a game down there. She is. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh, you're watching it. Okay. No. So well, I can gotta, see her. got to get it on the tablet. I I'm going to start calling you Dr. See, why Love. why is she not even show on the show then? So anyway, um, keep it, Precious, I mean, I'm not going to. If Precious got time to. No. No, Precious isn't oh, yeah. coming. She's not, she's not in this week. That's why I say since Sharita's here and she thinks it's funny, why don't we let her take Precious' role today then? I... <laughs> but let me answer my really? question first. Let me answer Dr. my question Love, first. I'm, I'm here for your advice. <laughs> That's what, I'm, I'm just going to say this right here, and this is being perfectly honest. It's hard to keep the same energy because everybody, like I said, I, I went out with my daughter for Valentine's Day, and we waited at Tokyo for two hours. I can only imagine what other people did looking for gifts and trying to do different things like that, but I think that's the issue with relationships is just keeping the flame going, keeping it hot after you've been with somebody for so many years. And that's just one of those questions that is more related to that individual couple. Everybody is going to have different things that they that they need to do personally in their relationship. So I'm going to have to say the Dr. Big Q, the Dr. Love, that's one question that I, I just, I don't have the answer to unless I was answering it for a situation that I was personally in. Sure. Sure. What do you think about that, Sharita? He's a little bit too honest, isn't he? He he's not gonna tell you no lie, is what he's saying. I can't tell. I can't talk for everybody. Just yeah, I can't talk I'm... for everybody. Right. right. Tell me what you like think, that. Sharita. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I agree. I'm... Every every situation is different. Um, but you know that old saying: do the same things that you did to get them to keep them. So didn't we talk about that last week? <laughs> we just talked um... about that last week. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, we did. Cool. We did. Everybody go out, spend a lot of money, and then the rest of the year is like, well, are you still doing this? I mean, we like flowers more than just on Valentine's Day and different things like that. So, sometimes you can just randomly do stuff instead of waiting for a commercialized holiday to do it to keep those things going. Right. Can we get it? Can we get a couple weeks though to get our to get our bread back up to get our money I mean, back up? After? Yeah, you, 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 you can wait. Like you can send some green roses for St. Patrick's Day if you want to wait to the next holiday. But just random, <laughs> you can do some things every once in a while. It doesn't have to be all the time. I, you know what? And I agree with that. I agree with that because when I roll by Flower Rama, 
now the price, you know how the prices of roses go down drastically <laughs> oh, after yeah. Valentine's Day. So, so they're $100 a dozen for Valentine's Day. Now they're back to $9.99. So maybe, I, maybe you're right. Maybe I can't keep the same energy <laughs> so for a couple dozen. This well, That's you know, one thing to keep the romance going for the new year, for the after Valentine's Day, is to get your um, honey a copy of what? Duh, so down. Seriously, why wouldn't you subscribe her? Right? <laughs> why wouldn't yeah. you do that? Exactly. And, you might get, and you might could get the most popular issue they ever came out with in the history of the magazine, <laughs> which which happens to be last February, a Valentine's Day issue. Right? Exactly. <laughs> get that one, right? From the most modest man in the world, Big Q. And you can get his advice in the soultownmagazine.com and get your copy today. <laughs> well, Big Q, I tell you what, Travis is supposed to be on our show today. I was so looking forward to you and him being on the show together. I don't think you've ever met. And he's supposed to be answering some real estate questions today, but um, I don't know where he is. I can't understand it. So, we, got, we got some absent. Uh, we don't have everybody today on the show. I'm, I'm not used to this. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Uh, just hold on. I'm sending him a text just because I think he doesn't know the link. You know, things like that. This modern technology is just crazy. But. Some other things we got to talk about is today is hype. Are you got? Do you have to go, Quentin? No, I'm gonna hang around. You said you was hanging with us till four thirty. Yeah. Okay, because that's how long we have. All right. So the other thing we want to talk about is today is High Five Friday. Now, Sharita, I know you're a school teacher at Cunningham, but do you know my daughter Chastity has the Royal Legacy Christian Academy? Have yes. you heard about that? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. So every Friday, you can give $5 um, or more, of course, to a Royal Legacy Christian Academy. So we want to um, make sure that we shout them out every Friday. So you uh, donate $5 any Friday or any day, and you go to cash at them at dollar sign RLCA Waterloo or PayPal at RLCAWaterloo.org backslash support and i don't know if you guys are familiar with their school but it is an amazing um love effort i mean those women just it, it's so refreshing to see those young mothers they carry their babies to school and teach a spanish class or you know walk the kids to the bathroom or you know what i'm saying it's just a family uh, environment and they're able to do it safely um, with only 24 kids in the school right now they're all being taken all the precautions and everything and so they can always use your support so make sure you um donate to them okay and be blessed and 24 you know, would be nice i have 21 students in my class right now <laughs> oh my goodness how many 21 I started off with 15, um, but when students came back from virtual, I ended up with 21. I am still able to have my desk set six feet apart and social distance. Um, a lot of us had to move teacher desks, move tables out of the classroom to spread the desk out. And the kids have desk shields and plenty of Clorox wipes. <laughs> oh, um, I bet. And Sharita, that had to be quite an undertaking. Um, and so you have they're actually in school certain what what is the schedule um we at cunningham the kids we start at 7 45 so they're there from 7 45 to 2 40 every day <laughs> so mm. and they have to eat breakfast in the classroom lunch in the classroom the cut down to keep so many kids from being in the cafeteria and in the hallways at different times so it's just kind of like being quarantined at home you're in your classroom all day then within the classroom they're in pods so you are oh. only interacting with your pod of friends um in the every different day every day um they i can say the school i mean we take extra extra precautions to keep COVID from spreading and different things. It's different for the students. They're, they've adjusted well, though. Okay. Like, 
kindergartners wear masks. I work teach third grade. I yes. barely have to say anything about masks to the kids. They have their desk shield. So each kid is isolated um, from the next kid. So is lots of hand washing, hand sanitizer. Every time we go in and out the classroom. Um, so this is not too bad. Have you had any outbreaks at all for the nope. staff or the students? Um, no, actually, Cunningham, we've been pretty blessed this year not to have any outbreaks, um, noticeable outbreaks, I would say. <laughs> I can't 100% wow. say that yeah. there's been zero um, cases, but we haven't like been missing tons of staff or tons of kids or anything like that. Yeah. There have been yeah. some students who've had family members and mm. quarantine because of family members, but not necessarily themselves. Mm. How about you, so. Q? Have you had, how's the college? Um, I know you're being safe, but I mean, how safe can you be with grown folks? <laughs> yeah, I've been COVID free. I might be, what do they call it? Ace, what, what, what do they call the one where you don't get it or you don't have it? <laughs> yeah, it must be because I didn't definitely threw the dice on the table and probably been in some places I wasn't supposed to be at, but I'm, I'm keeping it pretty safe. Um, and the school's great. Like they have, um, They've definitely changed the whole way. I think you and I as well, you and I, Warburg, Hawkeye, they've changed the whole format of the way that they're doing things. Um, class sizes are smaller so that they can spread students out more. Um, we're doing a lot of Zooming, obviously, like we're doing now. Yeah. So most right. of my meetings, a lot of my meetings during the day are through Zoom. And I might be Zooming with somebody that's in the office right next door to me, <laughs> but it's just what we right. do now. So. We're pretty safe here. Okay. Well, one other thing I wanted to ask to you, both of you that are educators and educated, um, about this 1619 project. I know that's a, that Nicole is a good friend of yours. In fact, we talked about having her on. What are your thoughts, starting with you, Sharita, on uh, Iowa's position that they've taken on not using? I was really kind of shocked initially um just because it's like well she's from Iowa um it's just a piece of history is not rewriting the whole entire history um I and then on the other hand I was like this is Iowa so <laughs> the way the demographics are set up in Iowa um I could see them not wanting to teach it but if they were to ask kids, as opposed to just going by adults, kids love to learn about history. Sure. I can even, um, even when I'm in my class, they often, you know, ask questions about, well, why would, why did this happen a long time ago? Well, what happened during slavery? And I teach third grade and they want to know right. those things. So I, I think I, it, that's a terrible choice for Iowa to even be attempting to think about trying to ban it exactly and not to get the black perspective i mean it's just it's just unfathomable especially when we're talking about being changed and you know and introducing yeah. new ideas what are your thoughts quentin well, i'd like to thank sharita for not saying what she said the first day that she found out that they weren't gonna <laughs> oh! <laughs> Kept it real PG, just in case your employer or anybody else was watching. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I have to get the edited version because I yeah, You gave the real it. edited version on that one. Okay. But I agree with you. Um, and I think that history, whether it's good or bad, should be taught. And, and what was, was, uh, was, was really weird to me is the fact that why do you want to control and take out what part of history? that you don't want our youth to know. Like who gives anybody the right to do that? History written wrote itself. So who are you to try to erase history and try to pretend like it didn't happen? It just doesn't make sense to me that you would be able to do that. So that that part alone, you would think legislate, the legis like basically the people that are in charge of that would, would think of that before they make decisions like that. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. You know? What are you trying to hide? Why right. or why are you trying to hide that slavery existed? And I know the big part of it is because she mentions 
former presidents being slave owners. And I think oh. that's a big win. They're like, oh, no, they weren't. But yeah, they were. I mean, even if you talk about Lincoln freeing the slaves, we like to say he freed them just because we wanted to. But we know that was a big financial move. That, that was the South oh, was yeah, making was much that. money. So, I mean, those things in history are important to know, but it's always black history that we want to suppress. We don't want to suppress any other kind of history. It's only the history of black people that seems to come under the radar and people don't want it taught. And it makes you wonder, you know, why? Why do you really not want us to know our history? Right, yeah, it, it, it's amazing because um, as a culture, the survival of the fittest. I mean, to even get this far seriously after all this gone, the black race has gone through the, you know, to, to maintain um, integrity and have people that do as well as we do. It's just amazing. So imagine if the real truth were to be told, maybe, maybe it's just big fear, you know, big fear that uh, if, if blacks are empowered, that they'll treat others like they were treated. You know, that's the biggest fear, I believe. And, and, and I think I, it was said once, um, it's fortunate that you're not after um, retribution, but just equality, you know, that's all. So yeah, especially equal under the law, you know, that's number one right there. But back to the 1619 Project, I'm hoping that things get figured out and, um, you know, that, that it will eventually, nothing's ever happened without a big struggle or a big fight or a lot of resistance, right? Yes. So, and there is a um, petition out. And so it's on my page. So if you're watching, go scroll down and find it and please fill that out because exactly. the more signatures, the less chance they have of actually banning a piece of, of writing, which is like so weird to me <laughs> like it's just i mean a Pulitzer prize winner i mean what it, it's How? Here, from your state from your state like literally this from is your from your state, state. Yeah. but because every time she wins something she's blasted all over iowa papers like oh iowa native wins this iowa native does this and then when it comes to applying that and supporting her work and using her work in the education field and all of a sudden it's oh I mean, we like you, but we don't like you that much, right? <laughs> right? right. Which, yeah. which is really, yeah. sad. It's, it's really, it's really sad to do that. It um, is. It is. Now, listen, we got to switch gears again. I hear Quentin is going to be reading. You have this reading program. Talk about that real quick, because Quentin, Quentin gets off at four thirty. We can't hold him too much longer. I have a reading program. What? Which one are you talking I about? Asked you before the show, right? Oh, the the black man reading. <laughs> oh no, that's Sharita. That's Sharita's program uh, that she does. Tell her about tell her, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar because she basically drills Facebook with pictures that we don't know she's taking. So we got these side <laughs> shots. <laughs> they they know when it happens. She floods her page. But go ahead and tell her, Sharita, about your about your program. Um, I do. Um, actually, two years ago, I started the Black Men Read Week at Cunningham. And so what I did was have black men come in and read to every single classroom mm -hmm. so that black students can see that black men really do read. Um, the first year I did it, I had about maybe about 18, 19 men who volunteered, came in and read. Of course, my brother, Big Q, was one of them both years, every year. <laughs> um, but I try to pick men in the community who are business owners, just all different types of walks that look like the people that cut their hair, the stores that they go to, they mm. look like their uncle, they look like their dads, not just trying to find then don't take the throne, like the super old retired principals and stuff like that, because kids these days want to see people who look like the people they see on TV. Um, Last try, 42 men who came and volunteered and wow. was like, oh, can yeah. I read? I want to read. I want to read. So the the help from just the community is amazing. Like there's so many men in our community right here in Waterloo who stepped up and was like, hey, I want to be a part of that um, and enjoyed it. And the kids love it because they are seeing men read. So now my little Black boys can say, 
oh, it's okay for me to read. I don't have to feel like I shouldn't read or reading is bad or it's a girl thing. Um, right. it's, it's just the amazing impact and really the community, the men in Waterloo really help out a lot because they're the ones who come in and show up and show out and read to the kids and wow. hey, you got a tear? Like is that a tear, Sharita, coming out your eye? Oh. What's up? No, no, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm unemotional. I know, but no, I've seen no, that little no. eye watering up over there on the screen. <laughs> you know how I feel about reading and books and stuff. So, and you know, like I really do appreciate everybody that come out and read, like for real, because people don't have to take their time. And I get some people who don't usually be in that light who also appreciate it. And yes, I do come around and stand in the doorway and snap a picture of you authentically reading. So you're not going to get a good fresh cold. It's no, not. No really. <laughs> He's very camera shy. I, you know that, and you know how modest he is. So he showing his soul town picture and everything. So right. He, he like, let me see that time. picture before you post it. Which one are you posting to me? I need to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I want to um, just thank you guys both for being on the show. And Big Q, I see that your um, your shop is open and, you know, that's still running smoothly on the weekends. You want to go ahead and tell us your hours or do you have a website? Oh, 12, 12, to, 12 to 9, Friday and Saturdays for now until we get everything figured out. Uh, right now, my son, Junior, Lil Q is there until I get there. And then I'll be there for the rest of the night and on Saturday. So it's kind of more or less just like a little part-time job now, almost like a hobby. We, we working on it though. We gonna, we're we about to make some improvements and we have a show coming up soon. And yes, we will, and we will announce it? our, we will, we have some, remember I told you, I got a couple, couple more things in the making. So we're going to talk about the new improvement we're making and, and the moves we're making yes. moving forward and, different things like that so. so we'll get to come to your shop again i think it's what yeah. next, next week or two weeks from now something like that oh, i didn't know it's that soon <laughs> it's soon it's, it's like march. march yeah it's, it's in march. march yeah yeah okay. yeah but i'll be ready you know i'm gonna be ready i'm gonna have that spread ready for you i'm gonna, uh, have, you, I'm gonna have your okay. fresh fruit i'm gonna have your okay. fresh fruit and everything else you need there when you get there <laughs> okay it sounds great so inviting well, thank you so much. And Sharita, I just want to say it's so wonderful that you that you've initiated this Black Men Read program. I just love that idea. And it's so good to give back and do something that um, makes us all look good, you know, yes. magnifies, magnifies, you know, Black love, Black life, and all the things that really matter, like reading and education and support, you know. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. We want to remind our viewers that Shaviva will be back next week. And tonight we have India's Friday Runway, which is featuring uh, Ashley Joy Cosmetics. So you can find out all about that cosmetic life and uh, get some great tips. India sent me some questions. It's going to be a great show. So make sure you tune in for that. Travis, and you know what? I'm. Who wants to sing? Quinn, you want to sing happy birthday to our birthday people? And I'm one of them. Oh, for sure. But I got to do the, the, the Stevie Wonder version. Is that OK? You and you got to help me, Sharita. Oh, you know, I can't sing at oh, all. Let, my me, let me pull, it up. Let me pull it. it up on YouTube. We can play it. <laughs> all right, pull, pull, pull it up and play it, and we'll sing with it. Can you do it fast enough? You know we got like two minutes left. We got oh, you have to keep touching that clock. <laughs> I'm good. I'm on work now. I'm cool. Okay, so wait. The thing is, I have to say the birthday, people. And um, yeah, if you would sing, because only one person, one person can only talk at once. So you'll get to sing, Quentin. Oh, wow. You just put me on the spot like that. We don't have to. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to decline. You're not going to have my scratchy voice on here. So, <laughs> I'll Why? participate with everybody else, but... Uh, so, but aren't you the one that told me you love to be put on the spot? That's what I was trying to do. Not in the world of R&B, I don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I want to tell our viewers we're going to have another show since Travis didn't show up. 
and Quentin won't sing. We're going to have a whole other show this weekend with our $50 uh, giveaway. And Shaviva will be back and um, we'll just do it all then. So watch you know, us. Can I say, can I make a suggestion? Yes. Since we got stood up today and Travis isn't here and Shaviva isn't here. Yeah, I know. I wanted you to meet Travis. Too. I, I know Travis. But I know you him. did such a great promo for him last week on the spot. Yeah, you know? and he didn't show up. So you know what he should do next week? Double up. Make it a $100 card since he wasn't here to give out that $50 card this Ooh. week. You agree, okay. Sharita? Do you agree with I that? Think yeah, I think so. And then so. that'll get that's more people good. on here, and now it's a hundred dollars okay. out there. You yeah. heard that, Travis? Big Q said, "Give away a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You're spending your money. We like that, okay? And uh, you keep um, doing what makes you guys awesome, okay? And yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Do you have anything else you'd like to say before we close out? Nope. nope. Thank you for having me. Yep. Thank you for, for having me. I stayed a little longer than what I was supposed to, but since it wasn't nobody, since it was just you two, I just hung out with you. So uh -huh. I, pre I appreciate the company. You're so gracious and kind. Thank you. And, and likewise, we appreciate you. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you next time. And thanks for joining us. Keep doing what makes you awesome like Big Q and Sharita because you're making us all look good. See you next time.